And here is your question. Okay. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it surgical pathology station, can you please tell me after reading the stem, what are your what is your provisional diagnosis? Uh, hypovolemic shock. Okay, how have you come across uh, to this uh, condition or this diagnosis? Uh, first, uh, this patient has uh, a bullet trauma. Uh, she okay. had. Uh, and bleeding uh, during uh, spleen uh, rupture. Yes. She, uh, her heart rate is 129. Yes. And uh, she has high blood pressure too. Yes. Uh, tachycardia means she has uh, intra-abdominal bleeding. After this, uh, she had uh, splenectomy. This also confirmed my diagnosis. Okay. And she has a confused and vomit heavily okay. uh, urine. Can you, I would put it, yes. yes. So if you think of more advance or development of her situation, how would you describe it? Keeping in your mind that initially patient is known case of hepatitis C. And yes. now after undergoing uh, or after being through this uh, road traffic accident and the rupture and uh, of spleen and all those rupture of ribs or ribs fractures, uh, what do you think now the situation or condition of the patient is? Because with just hemolo uh, hy hypovolemic shock, patient may not be febrile. And okay, you can say patient may not be vomiting hy heavily. But others criteria that confused and urine output decrease, okay, I can accept. But Considering patient is febrile, what how would you define the situation of the patient? Uh, I will define it because she has uh, a, a reperfusion. Re She's not per perfused uh, well uh, in the kidney. She is uh, uh, oliguria too because uh, uh, she bleeds too uh, too much blood and she has vasoconstriction and uh, her uh, his her liver not. Uh, uh, not good or uh, good functionally and not uh, yes she has coagulopathy yes. state. now you're coming on that state yes, yes. so how yes. would you and define she... disseminated intravascular coagulopathy what uh, is the pathogenesis uh, behind it uh, she has a decrease in vitamin k uh, dependent uh, coagulation factor yes and uh, this is uh, dic uh, yes. she has uh, disseminated uh, so what happens in this situation? Uh, this happened. Uh, it's yes. decrease of coagulation factor, uh, decrease factor. in uh, yes. uh, uh, and increase in FDBS. Uh, the, yes. the factor it will be um, uh, ten, nine, and seven, and. Uh, 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 10, 9, 7, and 2. Okay, 2. But what else is happening? Platelets are being decreased. Fibrinogen is being decreased. What else is happening? If you can tell me in a sequence of events, everything, all the actions or everything which is happening. What is the function a, uh, of a patient? Yes. Or if you can't, then we can go ahead and we'll discuss this later. Uh, right. If you can just tell me. Yes, please. Yes, uh, there are uh, like uh, like I said, uh, uh, decreasing in uh, fibrinogen 
and coagulation factor increasing in fibrogen de degradation uh, products. Uh, there are uh, a lot of, uh, there are uh, consuming of, uh, of coagulation factor in the many clots, which yes. disseminated in the vascular system. Uh, which make uh, uh, when it happen uh, bleeding uh, intra abdomen uh, in this case uh, rupture spleen there are no uh, clo enough clot clotting factor for uh, stop bleeding there are uh, coagulopathy uh, yes. and uh, not function well by uh, are being formed in every organs all right okay because of decreased platelets yes. and decreased fibrinogens all right we're moving yes. on can you define the functions of platelets? Uh, platelet, uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, accumulation of platelet would make uh, with help of with with help of coagulation factor uh, make uh, a clot uh, which make uh, biofibrinogen. Uh, which turn to uh, fibrin, fibrin uh, insoluble uh, in, in the blood, uh, which make a blood uh, and stop the bleeding. Not quite. Okay, can you tell me where these platelets are formed? Where? Yes, in the human body. Is a platelet where it formed? In, yes. in bone marrow? From bone marrow, from, very good. Okay, can you tell me uh, why would this particular patient may have bleeding tendency? Yes. Yes, please. Why? What, sorry, uh, question again. Why this patient, this particular patient, would have bleeding tendency? Uh, because uh, decreasing in uh, vitamin K and she has hepatitis C, uh, uh, which make... Uh, uh, decreasing in clotting factor. Yes, so if you can tell me, because of the known case of being a known case of hepatitis C, this patient's which uh, pathway will be affected? Intrinsic or extrinsic? In, I'm sorry, I, I don't get the question. Can, yes, can you repeat the question? Because this patient has hepatitis C, is a known case of hepatitis C. So blood yes. formation, which pathway would be affected? Intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway? Uh, it will be uh, the intrinsic uh, uh, the intrinsic part. Because the intrinsic part has uh, uh, vitamin K dependent coagulation factor. Okay. So... Uh, can you please tell me how much blood this person has to lose or has lost in order to categorize it as hemo hemolytic shock grade 3? Uh, it will be... Um, uh, um, skip. I don't... Okay. Uh, how would you stop the bleeding or how would you manage the hemodynamics of this patient? Uh, I will give uh, frozen uh, uh, RBCs uh, and frozen plasma. I will give vitamin K. Uh, I will give uh, cryo precipitate. Yes. To stop uh, the bleeding. Uh, also, I will uh, uh, at first uh, make um, a wide bore cannula with uh, crystalloid for supportive the patient. Okay, what do you have to consider before giving any blood products to the patient? Uh, I I will make ABO and RH. Uh, yes. Uh, and I will consider uh, blood uh, group and uh, cross and yes, saving. That's to the same, make... ABO and RH. Okay. What is group cross matching? Uh, group to define uh, which exact uh, group uh, for blood and uh, make it uh, the patient make sure the patient has uh, has not any antibody against uh, the uh, the antigen of the donor blood uh, to make uh, to prevent any hemo uh, hemolysis of the blood or uh, uh, make any uh, uh, hemolytic reaction uh, in the in the patient. Just suppose you did not or you failed to test the blood products that you have received. What type of reactions or hypersensitivity reactions do you expect? 
to occur or to happen? If I, if I give the patient uh, not... not uh, Without uh, not cross matching good. the blood, yes. Without uh, hemolytic reaction. Yes, please. And uh, hemolytic re and uh, uh, febrile non hemolytic uh, reaction uh, and uh, uh, extensive. Uh, what are uh, the types? Can you divide them in types and uh, give me the classification, please? What would be the immediate yes. reaction and then? It will be hemolytic, acute hemolytic. And uh, the and second exactly type would be... The most immediate one is the mast cell degranulation. It could be yes, anaphylactic. anaphylactic, exactly. Then it could be antigen antibody or antibodies. Yes, Yes, in general. You took in general or, or if I give the patient... Uh, to, uh, if you give to the patient. What are the reactions that can occur? If there are five categories... Okay, uh, first anaphylactic uh, antigen antibody, uh, cytotoxic, which is cytotoxic. Uh, the, the another one, it will be a, a delayed reaction. Uh, and uh, the third one, it will be a, a immunity, uh, immune, complex. Uh, immune complex reaction. Yes. yes, and the fifth one? Uh, it's, it will be uh, auto -anti antibody. Yes. Auto reaction for uh, uh, which make uh, uh, the, the body uh, confused between uh, the same yes. antigen in yes. the tissue with with the blood with the blood and make reaction towards this. Yes, good, good. Uh, right. Thank you.